You know, <clears throat> hello everybody. I've been trying to make this video today, and um, <clears throat> and I'm talking about. Um, okay, <clears throat> I just want to say this: is that uh, Christians need to love one another. It's in the Bible. It's in it's in First Corinthians thirteen. You need to read that chapter in there, and you really need to read in there where it talks about how love acts. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you just need to love each other. You need to love me. You know, you need to, I don't care. Just come talk to me. Just say hello to me when I come into your meetings house, meeting houses. Why do you want to ignore me? Why do you want to ignore people that I bring in there? I brought people into your meetings and you don't even freaking want to come over and talk to them. Whoa. Then you go around and you claim to be ministers, you know, and they got to sit there and listen to you run your yap, you know, yap, 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 yap. I finally believe God. I finally had an experience today where I believe God now. How long have you been doing this? Ten years? I don't know. Maybe you only been doing two years. But, you know, I mean, uh, if you if that's all you got to share about how that I finally believe God and I'm quitting being, you know, stupid or whatever, you know, look, you people need to start loving. OK, you need to love one another. Um, it's kind of hard for you to do. OK, I understand. You know, it's hard for you to do. OK, you, you just I can't love him because he don't believe in what I believe or I can't love them because they're in sin, you know, and they're like living with a woman or they're smoking pot or they're drinking or whatever. I can't love them, you know, whatever your excuse is. All right. Get over it. You need to start loving people. You need to start loving the body of Christ. You need to show respect for people. You know, it need to honor others. You need to stop being stupid, okay? Let me tell you what the definition of stupid is. The definition of stupid is, like uh, uh, Forrest Gump says, stupid is as stupid does, okay? If you're going to go walk around, you need to just get rid of the name of Jesus. Stop going to church. Stop claiming to be a Christian. I mean, Christianity, everybody's a Christian in this country anyway, so I don't even want to be called a Christian because there's everybody's Christians, and they all go around cheating, treating everybody like crap. No one's willing to lay, lay their life down for nobody, or let alone treat them decently. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, um, I mean am, I, am I that terrible of a person that, uh, that you know... Uh, one or, one or two people in the whole body of Christ in this area. I'm talking about all the churches in this area. Am I such a terrible person that I go to these meetings? I go and I'm around you. I go to your meetings. I go and, and act all nice to you and everything and try to be as nice as I can. And I am as nice as I can. And I worship God there. I enjoy the presence of God. And not one of you can come by and see me. Not one of you can come ask for my phone number and say, well, I'll call you up and talk to you, whatever. Not one of you. And then I, I then I, tr then I join a, uh, join a congregation or whatever and try to be a part of a church. And then they sit there and, going to all this other garbage that has nothing to do with the gospel, claiming that you're supposed to be transparent, telling me, asking me to show me, you know, be transparent with them, you know, and be transparent, and then use it against me. And tell me, well, you're just too emotional, or you're mental, you know. Uh... You people need some real substance. You you need you need more than words. The gospel is more than words. It's power. It's more than words. It's love. Okay, it's love. Love is God. 
Okay, it's more than words. It's more than deeds. Something you can feel is tangible. There's a presence. Kids know it. Animals know it. All of creation knows it. If you're going around and you ain't got it, everybody knows. I mean, you people, maybe you people don't know it, but everybody else knows. Everybody else knows that you're phonies, that you're hypocrites, all right? Okay, maybe you're not totally hypocrites or totally phony or whatever, but you're trying to not, you're not complete. You're not, you're missing love, real love. If you're scared, get some love. <laughs> Perfect love casteth out fear. Oh my gosh. God is love, so if you got love, then you got everything. Got everything. Ain't no reason to be afraid or be jealous or, or anything. If anything, if if you, if you get anything out of what I'm talking about, at least get this: if somebody comes into your church, your meeting place, and you don't know them. Walk over there and shake their hand. Talk to them a little bit, you know. Or even if you know them. Walk over there and talk to them. If you're in leadership, you're going to sit there and take the offering. Or you're going to preach a message. Or you're going to be all that in a bag of chips. Go freaking talk to somebody. If you see somebody in there that's new, go talk to them. Get real. If all you want is your little uh, meeting place with your little people that you have, you know, that's wrong. That's wrong. You people need to have love, okay? And guess what? I love you. And I can say that. I love you. Because God loves you. So, see you.